Hi, my name is Brad Connors, president of iWealth located in Waseca, Minnesota. Welcome to the iWealth Minute. We provide several videos each year to help educate you in the areas that we get asked about the most. Today, we're going to talk about aging and some concepts to consider to help you pay for long-term care expenses. As you may know, people are living longer these days and as a result the additional time and expense for care comes into question. You really have three options to consider. You can pay for your own care out of your own personal assets or you can insure your health and shift the risk to a company or you can have no money and have the county pay for your care. The choice is yours. Since we are in the financial planning business, we typically work with clients that have assets they wish to protect. There are a few different ways to shift the risk to an insurance carrier. The traditional way is to have a long-term care policy that works much like car insurance, meaning each month you pay for your long-term care policy knowing that if you qualify for the policy to pay for your care, it's ready to go. Certainly there are di many different options to consider with regard to the term of the policy, if you include inflation protection and many more. But the concept is similar to car insurance. You pay your annual premiums and if you don't ever use the long-term care plan, your premiums are simply gone. Or you can look at a new type of long-term care coverage, one that works a little differently. There are policies that you can deposit a lump sum payment into that will do three things. First, it will provide your deposit back with no growth anytime you want it. Secondly, if you have a qualifying long-term care expense, it will provide money to pay for it. And lastly, if you never have a long-term care expense and you don't touch the money you originally put in, when you pass away, it will provide a death benefit to your family. At a minimum, it will be equal to what you put into that policy. Now please keep in mind that this is a high level overview of long term care products and you should investigate the details before taking one out. Also keep in mind, not everyone needs to have long term care coverage, so be sure you understand how it fits into your plan before moving forward. So the choice is really yours. You can do nothing and use your assets to cover potential long-term care expenses, or you can shift that risk to an insurance company. Both options work. You just need to do your homework to decide which is best for you. At iWealth, we do just that. We look at the entire picture and help you decide what is the best option for you and your family. I want to thank you for taking time to listen today and I hope that this video has you thinking about you and your personal situation.